I knew I was supposed to go that way as well. Kafka walks out. He the, walks in. He walks out of the uh, players' changing room. But I haven't. I didn't have a clue who he is. <laughs> so I'm just there like, Wee. and then he's he's sort of pointing at me, going, "This guy's got a good jersey on." And then everybody's laughing, saying. Niall, that's McCaffrey. You are not kicking it. This is for your first win on Madden. <laughs> whoa, 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 why are you trying to psych me out? Why are you trying to psych me out? Interception, fourth quarter, two minutes left. Wilson gets the touchdown. Let's go. Only three. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on, I'm Mac. And I'm former Pittsburgh Steeler, CSW. And welcome to London to NFL. In this show, we'll be joined by the NFL's biggest stars and its biggest fans to discuss the sport, but also fashion, music, gaming, and everything in between. Today, we're joined by an Olympian, a former world champion in gymnastics, and a sneaky good dancer on ice. It's Niall Wilson. No, how are you doing? I'm great, boys. How are we doing? Good. Fantastic. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so, it's great to be here. I said I feel very small, sat next to you, gents, but I'm brilliant. Well, you came sporting. Repping, a Niners jersey. Repping the team. Give us the background on, on that. Well, um, so fortunately enough, at the start of this year, um, NFL UK had the opportunity to fly out. So I went to see a 49ers game. Unbelievable experience, trip, really got into it. But there is a connection between the 49ers and Leeds United, my team. I'm from born and bred in Leeds. What's the connection? So Parag is basically the owner of both. So they have the same owner, essentially. And got to meet him. We swapped jerseys. You swapped jerseys? Well... How did that go down? I mean, we we had Legion United shirts and 49 shirts, and it was, <laughs> it was perfect. That's an equal trade, you know? <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I was going to say about how you came about the 49ers and obviously going to San Francisco. Like, did you get up to more than just the game? Like, did you actually get to experience San Francisco? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we, we spent three days there. So, like, the whole weekend, mm. we got, like, the stadium tour on the first day and then got to see the sights and the city mm. and... Um, yeah, it was a special trip. So um, that's it now. That's you're, it. Like, you're a Niners fan I'm, for I'm, life. I'm, that's it. Yeah. That's that's it. Even if they lose another NFC Championship and don't make it to the big dance. Absolutely. What was the highlight <laughs> of the trip? What was the highlight of the trip? I think the game day was was special. It's mm. it's nice to see like you know out there it's, it's sports very very different to mm. in the UK. Mm. Um, I'm not the biggest follower of the Premier League or football. But I've, I've been to lots and lots of games. Mm. It, the vibe and the feel just felt so different. The energy in the, in the stadium, the fact that it's a full, like a full day thing. We we spent some time in the tailgating area and it's just like... That's completely that's, different. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. that is like a bit of me. That's you know its own mean? experience. <laughs> Unbelievable. Tailgate is its own experience. Yeah, for sure. Like sometimes, it, like you can have a lot of fun in a tailgate. Oh, I, I, mm. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I was walking around. Here, I don't want to go to the stadium. I want to stay here and have a, have a barbecue and some drinks. But yeah, it was it was it was so cool to be a part of and just grateful for the opportunity. Mm. And now I can see myself getting into this game and, mm. and following it for years to come. No, for for people who don't know you, like how would you intro yourself? Oh, I would say first and foremost, I'm an ex gymnast. Mm -hmm. Um, I competed for G Team GB at the 2016 Olympic Games. So I got to the highest level of, of sport and my sport, gymnastics. Um, won world, European, Olympic and Commonwealth medals. So had all by the age of 20 years old. So I had um, a crazy career at, at a young age. And then alongside that, when I was 21, I started, well, I, I started before this, but I loved creating videos. Mm. And YouTube was sort of the platform that was desirable back then and you could do longer form content so started making vlogs in the run-up to Rio and then in 2017 sort of took off so alongside I had this sort of YouTube career which yeah. Yeah. opened lots of doors for me and lots of avenues um, and started today now I've got my own gymnastics clubs we've got five dotted around the country and hope to keep growing that mm. so I'm, a, I'm like to say I'm an entrepreneur I'm a more of a wannabe businessman I'm I'm good at creating marketing and training yeah. doing sports i've got fortunately got an amazing team of, of business minds around me that are good at building a company but yeah su su super happy talk to me a little bit about about the olympics then because obviously representing mm. gb on such a big stage yeah like what kind what feelings do you go through there and like how do you even get to that level look i think i think that three weeks of my life was just the the craziest most amazing experience i'm i'm sure many Olympic athletes will say the same regardless of the result, whether mm. it's, it's success or not. You train your whole life. I think in, in the early years already at school, there was there was sort of, not necessarily pressure put on, but it was, oh, Niles the gymnast, Niles this, are you going to go at the Olympics? But mm. it, like, I felt that already from like the age of nine, ten years old. Really? Is that when you started? Um, started at four. 
four. Yeah, and I guess that school life was different. By 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 ten years old, I was training twenty four hours a week. So I went to school and went to gym five nights a week. So that was my childhood. That was my life. Who decided that was the path that you were going to take? Um, I think me and my family, but also the sport. Mm. You know, there's there's lots of mileage in, in gymnastics. You you train in those hours from a young age. It's a skill based sport. Yeah, Th that's just kind of what it was. And even even from a young, being a young teenager, I, I was only allowed a week's holiday a year. And you, you put in a hell a hell of a lot of work. I left school when I was fifteen, mm. training thirty plus hours a week. It was a full time gig. You know, yeah. like from from a young age. And I think that development happens in those in that period, you know, to get to the highest level of gymnastics because it's so technical, it's so mm. intricate. There's six apparatus. It's lots and lots of work. Do you have to be good at each apparatus, or could you just specialise in one and not have to do the rest? Good question. You you can specialise, but it usually happens to when you become more of an adult. So like yeah, you, yeah. you 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 commit as it as a kid, you do all of it. Mm. And and I was an all rounder, so I I kept doing all of it. That was. I mean that that's in my opinion the pinnacle of gymnastics, but and and sport because the the six apparatus, the, the guy that wins the all round. Yeah. In my opinion, is the greatest gymnast in the world. What was your least favorite apparatus? Oh. Pommel, the pommel horse actually was. I knew you were gonna say pommel the, horse. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it and I'm just I just look at it and think one your wrists. Mm. Like constantly being like this and then swinging mm. your body around. Two, the fatigue. Mm. Well, that was part of, the, part of the reason I've, I've had surgery in both wrists. Mm. So, I, like from when that's, those problems started to happen, I couldn't train it the way I could train the other apparatus because mm. I had to protect my body and I was in a lot of pain on the apparatus. And I also, as a kid, I was not really built for it. Mm. So the specialists, what we're talking about, they usually have physicalities that match the apparatus. So, for instance, on rings, you want to be small, light, strong stocky mm. to do all the stuff that don't work very well for pommel horse because yeah. they'll short your arms like you've got to be stretched out but like as a nation great britain you, you know lewis smith you know max yeah, whitlock yeah, yeah. you've heard those names we were the best in the world on pommel horse so i'd say it was my least favorite apparatus but it was almost you know it's interesting to talk about for hours like the belief system in sport mm. you know once someone once you can see somebody doing something, yeah, yeah, yeah. you believe you can do it. It's like the, the Roger Bannister four mm. minute mile. When he broke it, the, the, next, the two months after, another 15 people yeah, it did it. Possible, it's like, yeah. It? yeah. So I think I was so rubbish at Pommel's, Pommel Horse when I was a kid, but I had these guys and yeah. then also GB are the best. Yeah. I became junior European champion on Pommel Horse. Mm. So, but I'd still say it was, it was more fun to train. I enjoyed it, but I was in a lot of pain. Yeah, and yeah. as well, like, I'd, in particular, like rings, I was very good at rings, but again, that just hurts. It just yeah. hurts, man. You'd be good at rings. Just, no, no, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Because you got to do that false grip. Just <laughs> you, you got to do a bit more than false grip. That, no, but the thing is, see, that's where I fail. Because the second I put my hand into that position and I feel a ring against my wrist, He's just I'm trying to flex you. <laughs> yeah. no, no, I'm letting go. I've done it before because I tried to do it and I got my hand into it and I was like, nope. Yeah. As soon as I started to like feel my own body weight, I was like, nah, I can't. Yeah. Do this. I just love gymnastics. I think, in my opinion, it's the closest humans are to being superheroes. Most sports in the world, you know, the, the, the average person can take part. It's not really the case with gymnastics. Not mm. not anyone off the street can do so what think we do. I wouldn't be a good gymnast. That <laughs> I don't. It doesn't mean you can't be a gymnast. I don't think you'd be a good gymnast. <laughs> nah. But you'd kick the floor when you swing down the bar. <laughs> yeah. There's a high requirement. <laughs> right, so we're going to move on to the next part of the show where you're going to rank athletic features of players in the NFL. Mm -hmm. So as we know, to be in the NFL, you have to be such an incredible athlete. Yeah. So. We're going to show you things that really stand out from the crowd. Now, these are going to be current players and former players. Okay. And we basically just want you to grade them from ordinary, impressive, okay. or spectacular. Deal. What do you think I heard of? Spectacular. Yeah, spectacular. You go in like, no, 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 is, is, is that a bit? Hold on a minute. Let me, let me skip back. Yeah. The, the, play, the play was spectacular. This yeah, is I'm, your team. Is this because it's your team? The, yeah. That you're <laughs> you're biased. That's why. How often would that, you know, from that far out, would that play run? Like to, to score a touchdown. It happens. Quite, oh, it it happens, happens a lot. It does happen. But it's right, quite, that's, okay. that's a good play though. That's okay, good play. it is a good play. It was impressive. The timing was perfect. Mm. Like as he's gone down, he's he's. If that up. was in gymnastics, what what score would you get? Out of ten, I'd give it a I'd give it an eight out of ten. Then is that eight? His elevation. He's got some height, but also is it the grace he, of Landon? He floated up, but it was it was more he didn't touch the, the other guy didn't even touch him. Mm. I'm gonna stick with impressive. Like I don't I don't think that would be that difficult for a guy of that. 
okay. strength and okay. stature to, to hurdle over. Do you okay. like to give it a good jump? Do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Let's check the control it. Okay. This is, this is a classic one. Yeah, this, this one, one. This one. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Bengals. Bengals. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That the one. gymnast is loving yeah. the landing. Let's that go. One, that one's on the rounds on socials. Well, I'm giving it 10 for creativity, virtuosity, like as well. Like I know how a forward rotation and somersault is not easy, mm. but whilst you're running towards a huge guy, you've got to then take yourself off to get high enough, but then rotate to land. Like if he'd have like rolled out of it, it'd have still been like wow, but he'd literally completed the somersault yeah. as and he took off sort of in a straight position. So it's hard once you're already straight to get the rotation. Mm. And then stick the landing. And then land on your feet. So that's giving that that's I'm giving that spectacular. Yeah. Okay, next one, next one, next one. Oh, nice. Dancing. Sick. Do you think you could run that fast? No, I don't think I could run anywhere near that fast. I think the, the balance. Yeah, I think like the the spectacular bit is maybe it's it's not a play like the other two. It's just the the awareness and control and timing of being mm. able like direct yourself, convert the players. You know, like so you're going players. spectacular on that. No, one. I, I think it's impressive. Oh my God! Is that touchdown? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where are you ranking? Impressive. That? I think any interception, like, to then score a touchdown, is impressive. Mm. And especially because he beats the offensive guy to the spot for the ball. Yeah. Bearing in mind he has no idea where the ball is going to be thrown mm. to as well. Yeah. So that's and to come away with it and score the touchdown. Okay, so you're saying impressive. Impressive. And front flip's your top one. Yeah. Why are you going second? Which one second? But but hurdle or spin move? Hurdle or spin move? Which one are you going second? I mean, what about this though? Oh, that. oh wow, you can go that Did one. Do you know what I mean? Like, he, he, the other guys, uh, their jobs to do that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, but this, it sounds this guy's an athletic intercepted. Feet, an yeah. individual athletic, athletic feet. feet. Yeah. Oh, maybe the hurdle then. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's a bit, bit more. There's explosive. a bit more. They've, they've done the run, the running, the dodging, the weaving, and they've freaking dismounted. You, you know how hard the, it is to change direction when you're running full speed in mm. yeah, one direction? Yeah. To change direction? It's between the, the hurdle and the, the spin. Alright, you ready to play Madden? Yeah, let's do it, man. Right, let's go. What come team on. are you going to go? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you only got 49ers, come on! <laughs> I forgot the, I forgot the um, buttons. Look at that. You forgot the buttons? Yeah. Excuses in early. What's your record so far? 0-2. 0-2. Oh, okay. two. You know you can make it's him go 0-3. Oh, three. Three. Hey, listen, oh, three I got, is gonna be oh, I got three. hustled in my first game, and then I played a former player. I don't think it'd be 0-3. Oh, which I must have no idea. Also, this is, this is a big NFC rivalry. We've got the Niners against the Eagles. Max, a diehard Eagles fan. Yeah. 16 and, years, buddy. All right, kick off. Here we go. That was a terrible kick as well. Boom! Run towards the ball. Oh, do I have to? <laughs> <laughs> right, do I have to? What do I got Press do? A. And do something. Press the press button. Press the button. Press the button. Yeah, there you go. Oh, here we go. Run oh, go! Oh, no, 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 no. Go! <laughs> See that dog? That was a twiddle. <laughs> <laughs> it was like. It was like. It was like he just he didn't know what he was doing, so he just stopped. And I was going to take Kick him out. I was going like, to catch him. Like, like, do something, do something, just press buttons. No, he got a McCaffrey shirt on. What's the connection to McCaffrey? Um, so the first day we got, we get to the San Fran, we, we got to do the stadium tour. Mm. Well, it was empty, which was an incredible experience, by the way. Yeah. But in, and unfortunately, they give us some jerseys. Mm. And they had a Purdy, I think, was 13. Mm. Is that right? And then McCaffrey, 23. The guy I was with wanted 13 and I wanted 23, so I was like, perfect. We're chatting, we're outside where the, the players' locker room is. Mm. And then we're like, yeah, let's put the jerseys on. Like, they look sick, love the red. I'm like, whoa, McCaffrey. You got snapped. And then as I'm doing it, McCaffrey walks out. He the, walks in. He walks out of the players' changing room. But I, had a, I didn't have a clue who he is. <laughs> so I'm just there like, Wee. And then he's, he's 
sort of pointing at me going, this guy's got a good jersey on, and then everybody's laughing, saying, Niall, that's McCaffrey. So I like, <laughs> met him and said hello to him. But it was just a cool little moment, do you know what I mean? What are the chances? You must be thinking this guy's wearing my jersey. He has no idea. Literally, who I the, the odds of it. Did you play any other sports when you were growing up? Everything, mate. I was all sport. My dad was sport. Um, golf, football. Played a bit of rugby. Um, just, just in anything competitive. Like mm. I want, I want to compete. Particularly, I'm in retirement. I know mm. that I've, I've got this need to just have competition in my life all the time. Like mm. it's, it drives me. It gets me going. Like even right now, when we're chatting on the podcast. I, I want to win this game. I've never played the game before. Do you know what yeah. I mean? It's just the winner's mentality is yeah. born, like bred into me. <laughs> yeah, how have you found that transition out of sport? Uh, really tough. Mm. Really tough. I think yeah, everybody will find it tough. You, your whole life you've been, I guess, validated by performance. Mm. And you being the, me being the super human gymnast, or you miss all of it, the routine of mm. training. All I've known since four, being four years old is is training and sport and yeah. gymnastics and I've, you know you miss the performing I, I love competing love performing been in front of 25 30 thousand people multiple mm. times the rush the euphoria yeah. of that it's kind of like now you embark upon the next chapter but not really knowing at 25 who you are without sport yeah yeah so it's I mean, still it's a young just, age as well yeah it's such, such an adjustment period i think well, obviously your fun. your youtube channel has been hugely successful so that been something good to kind of like focus yourself channel your energy into yeah, it gave me it gave me purpose and passion out outside of it. I love telling stories. I love making videos. Mm. It's it's cool for a number of reasons. Like I've, I've, it's changed my life in terms of I've been able to. Oh my god! And he just gave the ball back <gasps> straight away. First, First play. play, and he'd stop passing the ball, <laughs> intercept him like that. <laughs> Oshana just not get yes. taken down. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> this is how you know he's a competitor. As well. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna give it to you back. Hey, hey it's bad. <laughs> So was your first big kind of campaign, I guess, the road to Rio and, and doing that build up for the Olympics? So yeah, I'd, I'd, no one was watching back then either. I was getting like 2,000 views. I had 7,000 subscribers and yeah. I just made vlogs. I was, I was rubbish at it as well, by the way. Really? Were you editing it all yourself? Yeah, I did it all myself, new to it, very boring and bland on camera, but I just, it was something I wanted to do. And I did, mm. I guess I did know even when no one was watching, like, if I've got a little bit of a head start and, a, and mm. an advantage on these platforms, like maybe one day I'm more likely to have a brand. Yeah. You know, like say, oh, I'll wear this t-shirt and mm. videos. And I just sort of, it was in the back of my mind. And then um, a video went viral. And then that sort of just kicked off my career, really. Mm. It be became a career very, very quickly. And What video was it that went viral? It was called the Ultimate Gymnastics Challenge. Yeah. It just made it. It was one of those I put barely little, much little thought into it. Um, me and a couple of my mates went to the gym one Saturday morning. It was on my birthday. I had a couple of, um, oh. Have I done that? Oh no. Did I? Oh no. <laughs> Has anyone missed a field goal from 22 yards? Did I do that? What did I do wrong there? Uh, I, I, you didn't see what you did. I was, just looking, I was looking at my player, like, seeing him on the side, like, I can get him. It's, it's harder to, it's harder to actually miss that than score it. I can I score it. from 22 yards off. I can do it in real life. Um, oh, yeah, we right. just filmed in a series of just these fun gymnastics sounds like you could climb the rope the quickest, you mm. can, like, a stick it challenge. It's got 15 million views on YouTube, so, like... Really? Yeah, it's Is it a long video? Yeah, it was, it was it was a great video, and I think that that sort of like pivoted my content then, because like before I was trying to just help young gymnasts and mm. talk about what I was doing, whereas like I, I, I that was straight into entertainment. Mm. Was like I realised not everybody's into gymnastics, but everybody can laugh, everybody can feel inspired, you yeah. know, like, and it's also spectacular to watch. Dancing on ice, I don't even know where to start with that whole journey. <laughs> How did it come about? What was it like? What was the whole experience? It was amazing. I, do you know what? I've got a funny story because I, <coughs> when the when it came about and when the audition was was about to happen, I, I actually wasn't in a very good place. Like through all my retirement mm. and I was drinking a lot and like I didn't quite have my things, my stuff together. So I had the audition over in Manchester and I had like a seven thirty a.m. train booked to go and do it to mm. get me there super early what? and ready. I've slept through my.
blown coverage. I shouldn't, I shouldn't I'm really not knowing what I'm doing in defence here. <laughs> I shouldn't celebrate. I shouldn't celebrate. So please, I shouldn't celebrate. Like, after that. <laughs> I shouldn't celebrate. <laughs> I'm distracted about winning. Yeah, I'm but I'm waiting yeah, yeah. for him to look back at the TV. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to look I back at the TV. I don't know what my players are doing. <laughs> Why, 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 why? Yeah, why? Yeah, there you go, there you go. Run, go, 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 go
I hope you were listening. About six minutes ago, we were talking about... Listen. See us to Walking out to Olympic final. Max, not even listening. In the I'm not listening no more. Where the chips are down. Not listening to you. How are you going to rise to the occasion? Not listening to you. This is a two-minute... You're supposed to be on my side. Are you going to I'm trying to pump you up. Are you going to landing? Are you going to fall flat on your face? <laughs> Kick the ball. you got to go. go. Deep ball. Deep ball. There you go. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh wow, we're in a battle. Lovely. We are in a proper battle. Go for two. Go for two and win. <gasps> that's, a, that's a one shot reply. <laughs> Damn. That's a one shot reply. Oh, you are not kicking it. He's I might, gonna, you know. He's, he's, <laughs> he's, he's not gonna kick it. I There's might. No this way. is for you, this is for your first win on Madden. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Why are you trying to psych me out? Why are you trying to psych me out? Hey. We've got two minutes left. He's gonna go for a fake, surely. Tiger. I mean, you did just go length of the field and score in seven seconds. No. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> I knew I was supposed to go that way as well. You know what? You've got to let him win his first game. Yeah, so exactly. I, yeah, exactly. exactly. I, I mean, I said I was going to let him get a first touchdown. Keep telling you. And then I said I was going to let him... You are um, losing fair and square. And then I said I was going to let him um, get an interception. So I let him get two. 16 years. No, not into Madden? <laughs> what are you talking about? I've been into it for 16 days. All right. Hey, there's no point Presses holding it. Yeah, you go on. Down the middle. Down, there you go. That's fine. Oh! What the? How's and he the first it? down. Stay in bounds. Stay in bounds. Yeah, How's he done it? Smart. That's How's he done IQ it? Play. That's a high IQ play. You've got to take your last time out. That's not a high. That was a complete no luck. If I'd have got tackled then when I lost it, the ball. No, if you got tackled out of bounds, it would have stopped the clock. Congratulations. I told you. Right. You won. Win. You won. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Come on! How's it feel? Zero and three. Yeah, zero and three. So if you're going to compare winning on Dancing and Ice to this, this is moment where right now. Don't right now lie. is way better. Olympics, Don't everything. Lie. This is my, this is peak. <laughs> you heard it first. Peak athletic performance. London to NFL, Madden Challenge. Wow. Only three, Mac Griffiths. Yeah. What's your record? I'm two and one. Two and one. Two and I can't one. wait for your next game I'm, on Madden. I'm, I'm one <laughs> I feel like me. they put you up against the easy people. Yeah. No, it's been it's been real. Thank you so much for coming on. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you so much. And enjoy time. that W. Yeah. <laughs> he'll, he'll go home with a smile on his face now, like, yeah, I'm a winner, successful day. Yeah. And then he's gonna teach you how to do a backflip. Yeah, that's you, that's your department. I'll do it, and then yeah. you do it. You, you could be double. We'll do it outside. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned to London to NFL and make sure you subscribe to the channel.